Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Dear Numbers, we start this chapter with Euclid's Division Lemma, then we proceed to the Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic, further we revisit Irrational Numbers and finally we shall discuss Rational Numbers and their Decimal Expansion. Let us start this chapter on real numbers with Euclid's division lemma. To understand this lemma, let us look at pair of numbers 17 and 6. We can write 17 equal to 6 into 2 that will be 12 plus that will be 17. We can also say that for two positive integers a and b we can write a in terms of b by finding whole numbers q and R such that R is less than P. Like here B is 6 and R is 5. 5 is less than 6. Let us test this for another pair. Say we take 5 and 12. Then A is 5 and b is 12. We can write this as 5 equal to 12 into 0 plus 5. Clearly we have two whole numbers 0 and 5 which have helped us to write a in terms of b. Also r is less than b. And here we can also see that Q can take value 0. Look at another pair. Say we take 20 and 4. A is 20. B is 4. So 20 equal to 4 into 5 plus 0. This shows that R can take value 0. Now we are in a position to state Euclid's division lemma formally. According to the theorem, given positive integers a and b, there exist unique integers q and r which satisfy a equal to bq plus r such that r is less than b but greater than or equal to 0. You must have realized that it is nothing but the restatement of long division process that we have been doing all these years. And here q is the quotient and r stands for remainder. Quickly let us see the long division method for this pair. If we divide 17 by 6, we get remainder as 5, quotient as 2. So we can write 6 into 2 plus 5 equal to 17. Let us now move to Euclid's division algorithm. It is a technique to compute the HCF of two given positive integers 
using Euclid's division lemma. Before understanding Euclid's division algorithm, let us revise the method we know to find the HCF of two numbers. Suppose we have to find HCF of 4, 55 and 42. Then by long division method, we will divide 455 by 42. What we get is 35. Then divide 42 by 35. We get 7 as the remainder. Now divide 35 by 7 and we get remainder as 0. So we say that 7 is HCF of 455 and 42. Now let us find HCF of same numbers using Euclid's division lemma. We will say that for A and B they will exist Q and R. So let us Write this as here quotient is 10 and remainder is 35. Now consider the divisor 42 and the remainder which is 35 as A and B respectively and now apply the lemma. Then 42 can be written as 35 into 1 plus 7. Here Q is 1 and R is 7. Again consider the divisor as A and remainder as B and apply the lemma. We can write 35 as 7 into 5 plus 0. So now remainder is 0 and quotient is 5. Since now remainder is 0, we cannot proceed further and hence we will claim that HCF of 455 and 42 is 7, which we have already checked by long division method. After this explanation, we are in a position to state Euclid's division algorithm. Recollect that an algorithm is a series of well-defined steps which gives a procedure for solving a type of problem. Euclid's division algorithm is a series of steps to obtain the HCF of two positive integers, say C and D, where C is greater than D. And then we have to follow the following steps. Step 1 is apply Euclid's division lemma to C and D so that we get whole numbers Q and R which satisfy C equal to DQ plus R, where R should lie between 0 and D. Now check, if R is equal to 0, then D is the HCF of C and D. If R is not equal to 0, that is remainder is not equal to 0, then apply the division lemma to D and R. For example, 
if c is 35 and d is 7 then 35 is equal to 7 into 5 plus 0 that means we get remainder 0 and we come to the conclusion that 7 is the HCF of 35 and 7. That is what we are stating. If R is 0, then D is the HCF of C and D. And if this R is not 0, then take D and whatever is the R and again apply the division lemma to them. Step 3 is to continue the process till we get the remainder 0. As soon as we get the remainder 0, the divisor at that stage will be the required HCF. There are certain things that we need to note. Euclid's division lemma and algorithm are very closely interlinked. And that is why sometimes Euclid's division lemma is also known as Euclid's division algorithm. And secondly, although Euclid's division algorithm is stated for only positive integers, it can be extended for negative integers also. But B cannot take the value 0. That means divisor cannot be equal to 0. Euclid's division lemma and algorithm have several applications. Let us look at some applications. Let us read the question. Use Euclid's algorithm to find the HCF of 4052 and 12,576. This is the most obvious application of Euclid's algorithm. Here we clearly see that 12,576 is greater than 4,052. So we will consider the bigger number as A and smaller number as B. We apply the division lemma to the two numbers we get equal to 4052 into 3 plus 420. You may Hello find it friends. difficult to find this the question. video is brought to you by www.moeteaching.com to Divide the two numbers in your rough work and find it. For instance, Probability. if you divide 12,576 by 4,052, you will get quotient 3 or the empirical probability. and the remainder will come out to be 420. To understand the concept of but remember, the this technique should be used in your rough gambling, it has been used extensively Now by step 2 of the lemma, sciences, since remainder is not 0, biological sciences, so we will apply sciences, the lemma again to divisor and the remainder. Really like now divisor will be A it will and rain today. remainder will be B. Probably rain will mean it may rain on applying the lemma again, today. we get the following expression. Here again, remainder is not zero. Hello, friends. This video is now, brought to you by, by www.moeteaching.com. We have to keep applying the lemma until we get remainder zero. So now, our divisor 420 will be a and the remainder Let 272 will be P and we have to find Q and R. We get so we get 2 head 420 times equal to one head 272 into 1 
Again, the remainder is not zero, so we apply the lemma to one twenty-four and twenty-four. Again, the remainder is not zero. We apply the lemma to twenty-four and four. We get twenty-four is equal to. Hello friends. Four this into video six. is brought to you by www.moeteaching.com. So finally, we have got the remainder zero, and our procedure will stop here. Since the divisor at this stage is four, so four is the HCF of twelve thousand five hundred seventy-six and four thousand fifty-two. In notations, we can write this as HCF of these two numbers is four. Now suppose if we had to find HCF of four thousand fifty-two and four hundred twenty, our procedure will start from this step and proceed in the same manner and stop at the last step. That means. Four is also the HCF of four thousand fifty-two and four hundred twenty. Similarly, it is also the HCF of four twenty and two seventy-two, because in that case our procedure will start from this particular step and move downwards. And for the same reason, four is the HCF of two seventy-two and one forty-eight. One forty-eight and one twenty-four, one twenty-four and twenty-four, and twenty-four and four. Now suppose the question is: Without long division, find out whether the rational number is terminating or recurring. Our first step would be to prime factorize the denominator. We get. Seventeen by two cube. We can write it as two cube into five power zero, as anything to the power of zero is one. So now we have a denominator of the form two power n into five power m. Where n is equal to three and m equal to zero, that is non-negative integers. So by theorem six, seventeen by eight has a terminating decimal expansion. Here we can also find the number of places of decimals after which the decimal expansion terminates. For example. We can write equivalent rational number of seventeen by two cube as multiply and divide by five cube, which will give us seventeen into five cube whole by ten whole cube, and this would mean that the decimal Will terminate after three places. We write that the decimal expansion of seventeen by eight terminates after three places of decimal. Let us take up another example. Say we take a rational number twenty nine by three forty three. Let us prime factor the denominator. It comes out to be twenty nine by three power five. 
clearly the denominator is not of the form 2 power n 5 power m so we conclude that the decimal expansion of 29 by 343 is non-terminating repeating.